Christine. And last year we reviewed the trailer for Death Wish, the 1974 action cult classic that turned Charles Bronson at the age of 52 into a superstar, made him an action icon all the way into his late 70s. It was a somewhat serious film with a message about the crime rate of New York of the 1970s. And the way it ended, you could tell they were definitely hoping to do a sequel at some point. Mm -hmm. And we eventually did get a sequel to Death Wish, eight years later, in the 80s. So, a lot of time had passed and culture was a little bit different, mm -hmm. but Bronson, who was now in his early 60s, was ready to jump back into the role of vigilante Paul Kersey. Mm -hmm. And while the first film was somewhat serious and had a bit of commentary, this one is a bit more of an exploitation film. But still really good and has Charles Bronson doing what he does best, giving bad guys their comeuppance. <laughs> It happened once before. Some fuckers followed my wife and daughter off from the market. Charles Bronson. He's doing it for you. <laughs> and that's why we love him. Because he does it for us. How does Death Wish 2 look compared to the first film? Entertaining. Yeah, I'd say it definitely is. Once again, it's a bit more exploitive than the first mm -hmm. film. You can kind of tell they're going for the more action uh, craze. Mm -hmm. Goodbye to the boombox. The first Death Wish had one of the most disturbing rape scenes ever put on film, yeah. where Kersey's daughter is violently raped and put into a almost catatonic state, and his wife beaten to death. In this film, taking place in LA, where he's apparently moved her as well, she gets abducted by a new gang and uh, raped again. Except, yeah. yeah double uh, unluckiness. It's his own. And this time it's her who dies. And the reason I chose this one is last week was Father's Day, but I had to do Top Gun because of the sequel. So consider this the belated Father's Day episode. We do what we can. And so does he. That's your daughter, Mr. Kersey. Mr. Kersey. Sent Carol. With murder and rape are the crimes. And, I don't know if you notice, one of the rapists is played by a young Lawrence Fishburne. Oh. Yeah, that's him. Super fine. <laughs> and it's also got some great um, action movie one-liners. That one rapist who has the cross, do you believe in Jesus? Well, you're gonna meet him. <laughs> <laughs> and for a guy who was in his 60s, he really makes it believable that he could take out all these much younger thugs. Oh yeah, definitely. And of course, he's got one of the greatest movie mustaches of all time. <laughs> So, while not as serious and whatever commentary they have, feels more forced and not as natural as the first film, does it look like the second film might be a film you'd be interested in checking out? Maybe. Might be a bit much. Like I said, the rape scene in this film, like the first one I said was one of the most disturbing, this one's worse. Oh dear. But... 
It just makes you root for their deaths so much more. <laughs> Terrible yeah, the music's not the best in this movie. Next Death Wish trailer to look at will be the third one, which, while still pretty violent, is not as uh, grim as the first two, and kind of falls more into the fun action craze. I'm looking forward to it. Cool.